looks like it costs a lot of money for all this blue paint. I can't imagine that the paint bill is cheaper than the white paint uh, temple. I think the, the blue temple artists went the more expensive route here. We're Ronnie and Jeremy, and we're digital nomads traveling around the world. We spent the last two years living in Southeast Asia during a global pandemic. Now we're back on the move again on our quest to visit every country in the world. And we hope you'll come along with us for the ride. Good morning from Chiang Mai, Thailand. Ronnie and I are up with the sun this morning because we have a tour scheduled. We usually don't do tours because we don't like being tethered to others during our travel day, but today we're gonna try it out. We're gonna gather with a group downstairs here at the condo and we're gonna try to take a tour group bus over to Chiang Rai. Ronnie's getting ready right now. We're gonna go downstairs and get some coffee and then we're gonna go. Okay, we are in our lobby cafe at the condo here in Chiang Mai. We're awake before the coffee kiosk is awake, so we can't get really any coffee here. So maybe they'll open up the doors before we leave, maybe not. We're just sitting here waiting for the uh, tour pickup, and then we'll set out for, I think it's a two hour journey from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai, so we'll keep you informed. region of Thailand borders Myanmar and Laos. Wow. We found a hot spring. It's bubbling. I don't know if we can swim in this. <laughs> Stopped at a hot spring on the way to Chiang Rai. Bubbling usually means don't touch. <laughs> so I think we won't be swimming in this hot spring or even soaking our feet. But there's also a 7-Eleven here, so we will stop and get a little breakfast, I think. That's what breakfast looks like, 7-Eleven. <laughs> Onigiri. Onigiri. Salmon, rice, Salmon. seaweed. Salmon teriyaki. Ronnie got some chicken skin. <laughs> Like a true Indonesian, I had to have some chicken skin snacks. Not only Indonesian, all Asia. All the Americans that watch our channel, comment down below and tell me how many times that you've had chicken skin in your life. <laughs> <laughs> this is crispy chicken skin, you know. Crispy chicken skin snack. So comment below, tell me what your favorite so the taste, crispy chicken skin snack is. The taste is like um, chips. Oh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> made it to the white temple and it's white we're trying to find our guide and then we're gonna go on a tour around the temple grounds here most of the temple was designed by a uh, famous Thai artist and so he's done everything on the inside here it's quite unique for temples most of it's white there is some gold we'll show you around but it's uh, pretty unique looking kind of like a temple wonderland
making our way through the main uh, worship hall here at the White Temple in Chiang Rai. The uh, temple here was built in 1997, and the local artist is living in Chiang Rai. Yeah, other than that, <laughs> it seems like it's very decorative. It's nice, but we cannot record inside. Okay, we have found some shade here at the White Temple, but we are now in the Golden Temple part of the temple grounds. This is the Museum for Ganesh, the elephant god. And yeah, if you want to come to the White Temple here in Chiang Rai, the foreigner tourist fee is 100 Thai baht, so not very much. However, you'll probably have to schedule transportation, especially if you're coming from Chiang Mai. It's more than two hours. It's three hours. Yeah, probably three hours yeah. from Chiang Mai. So that's your biggest cost is the uh, transportation fee. Mm -hmm. You can arrange private transportation with a hired driver, or you could do Grab, I guess, maybe on the app. But uh, tourists, eh, I mean, like, like us, travel is not bad. Yeah, tour is the best, I think, because yeah. you have a nice van and comfy, and you can just sit and wait till you get there. And you get lunch. And we get lunch included, <laughs> which we're going to next. So. Yeah. We're going to finish up walking around here and then go get some lunch. Okay, we're now at the uh, Blue Temple here in Chiang Rai, and uh, you might have guessed, it's blue, very blue. And the artist that designed this temple learned from the artist who designed the White Temple. So some similarities in design, but a bigger main hall room here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna look around here for a little while. It's not as big yet. There's not as many things finished on the temple grounds. So the main hall is the only thing finished. So we're gonna look around here for a bit. Oh, by the way, lunch was great. Most lunches are not great on these tours or they're quite cheap, but the lunch that we had was a very plentiful uh, Thai lunch with chicken curry, sweet and sour chicken, vegetables, we had a chicken soup, mango sticky rice, very good. Uh, a plus on the, uh, on the food that was offered here on this tour. So now we're just gonna show you around the Blue Temple. That does it for our uh, time here at the Blue Temple. It's pretty short. Yep. It's not much finished yet, but what is finished is quite ornate, quite decorative. 
looks like it costs a lot of money for all this blue paint. I can't imagine that the paint bill is cheaper than the white paint uh, temple. I think the, the blue temple artists went the more expensive route here. I guess so. And they say the Buddha is they make from marble. Yeah, so did not uh, skip out on the uh, expenses for this place. Uh -huh. We're going to hop in the van and uh, we're going to go over to the black temple now and check that place out. in the central of Thailand. They will build like uh, inside the temple, they will build like a uh, small stupa. And they will keep like the uh, actress inside and the name on, the photo on. So the family will go inside the temple for pay respect to them. His son, keep his the artist actress up over there. Up over there. I will show everyone photo. This is how they mock here. black house and there are more than 40 black houses yes. on the property this is a uh, dedicated to uh, a famous Thai artist our guide says the most famous Thai artist and he's passed away now but these uh, houses have all of his art and they show them on display here like a, a museum for the artist and you can scan these QR codes and go to the Instagram for the artist and they have uh, some fancy Instagram art that you can I guess download or whatnot so you can have the uh, different samples of the artist's work and there's also a gift shop that you can purchase some of the prints. I don't know is it real crocodile or no? <laughs> yeah so the artist has lots of different animal skins mm -hmm. around the property and behind us on this table is a big crocodile skin which we'll show you but there are many different animal skins apparently around the property. We're going to do some exploring and see what we find. Hot and steamy here in Chiang Rai at the Black House Complex. We are finished up walking around the grounds here and we have to get back on the tour bus and go back to Chiang Mai which is about a three hour trek. If you want to see all the photos from our travels here in Chiang Rai today be sure to follow us on Instagram at Kentuckians Abroad. Check us out on Facebook and on TikTok. If you want to see more content from our trips when we go out on excursions like today. Alright we're gonna Get saddled up here, get back on our bus, and uh, yeah, maybe we can get back to Chiang Mai in time for the Night Bazaar market so we can get some dinner. Okay, we've made it back to the apartment. <laughs> the wild streets of Chiang Mai <laughs> and uh, we're gonna walk on down to the Night Bazaar our favorite Night Bazaar market there are several in Chiang Mai and there are several markets throughout the week with Saturday and Sunday having bigger markets but even on Monday night you can find big markets here in Chiang Mai and we're gonna go to our favorite Night Bazaar spot because there's plenty of food stalls there we're gonna get dinner because we are hungry I think we've uh, just had one meal today and the rest has been 7-Eleven snacks. <laughs> yeah. It's time for real food.
big brown. Ah, smells so good. But my squid is not coming yet. shells until she finishes all the king prawns and the grilled squid here we are gonna call it a day we are tired it has been a long travel day three and a half hours to Chiang Rai and three and a half hours back plus all the temple exploring that you saw when we were there if you enjoy this adventure day from Chiang Mai up to Chiang Rai go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and share this vlog with all your friends on all the social media channels and if you enjoy traveling around the globe, going wherever we go, please subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell so you know when our new videos are uploaded each week. But remember, you don't have to be a Kentuckian to travel with us. You just gotta have fun. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on keeping on. Cheers. Cheers.